KK, over there. Moving along the dragon gates. Try to follow it to its den. So that's a dragon den. All right, let's seal it. Well, that's cool. Wait up! Shit. Must have run off to another den. Gotta seal that too. Then it'll have nowhere to run. And no choice but to face us. But I don't want it to face us. It's a dragon. And I'm a human. Fuck to go. Oh, it's over here. Oh shit. Seal up any we find. Got it. Damn it, get back here. Fucking hell did that thing go? That doesn't look like it's giving up. Oh, it's gonna try to kick my ass. Persistent. I'll say that for it. For you to head home. There we go. <laughs> 
<clears throat> Let's go back to the temple. Check on that sliding door. Dragon actually looked cool. This looks fugly. You know, it's actually a pretty cool painting. It's not. Uh, it could have like done better. Right out. Oh come on. You know what I mean. Yeah, that doesn't look as cool as the dragon that I was fighting. You can still save more. His eyes look wonky, like he's half melted or something. Almost 90%. There's, uh... <clears throat> Maybe some over here. No. Eat up, pal. Don't eat too fast. Yep. Should be grateful, you mutt. What? Don't be such a jerk. Should be grateful, your highness. Somehow that seemed even meaner.
I have no idea this thing's fucked. I couldn't tell you. Fixing shit, the new shit pops up. Hmm. Like, if your PlayStation emulator's never done that before, then it would be the game. If it's not that, and or like it's a new emulator or something like that, then I would use a different one. Because, like, the one I mentioned to you is actually, I think, one of the top-rated ones. So, I mean, I would just use that. First time I've tried it. Oh, Crocs, use the one I gave you. I'm using the EPSXE and I'm having issues with. I thought you said you were using RetroArch or something. Oh, there's the fucking... Okay, so you used... I was, then you said try this one. Okay. Um... You did the... You did the setup and everything for it? Because it's, like, you have to actually set it up. I mean, again, worst case, I can I can just send you mine. Yeah, when I select Open CD, now it shows controller. Is this standard, and then just black screen. Hmm. I'll uh I'll give you a hand troubleshooting it after after I'm done streaming. Because, like I said, once I set it up, like, I've never had any problems with it for the most part. I think the only problems I've ever had is usually with the game at that point, because I've done, uh... I got it now? Oh, you did get it working? I don't know what I did, but I did it. Okay. I mean, again, if you need, if you do need help, I'll, I'll help you later. So if, if something else breaks, let me know.
That's not going to give me anything. Why am I in an alley? There's nothing in this alley. This alley is nothing for me. Why were you shining? Oh, you're not shining, you're just... There's something I can break for energy. Um... Yeah, because like, like I said, once I got it set up and everything, it runs fine. The only problem I've ever had has been with the ROMs, usually. And the only ROM I've ever had problems with, at least in my experience, was fucking, uh... Tony Hawk Pro Skater. The damn thing didn't want to run the menu properly or some stupid shit. Oh, there's a tree there. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to fight you idiots. Only ROMs I ever have issues with are through Dolphin GameCube emulator. I've used Dolphin a couple times, and it hasn't been too bad for me, but... Ow! Fucking police brutality! Um, but I haven't played too many things through Dolphin. Like, just a few games. Like, I played more through the PlayStation one. The only reason I've done anything much through the GameCube one was, uh... I wanted to play... I wanted to try Fortune Street. Just trying to do too much at once. Oh yeah, you probably you'd have to put like limiters on it and shit. Yeah. Huh. What's this? Yeah, see, I did Eternal Darkness and it ran fine. And I did because uh, I was trolling my teacher. Yeah, that is fucking horrible. Which Zelda did you just say, Twilight Princess? Which one was Twilight Princess? That's not... I don't think that's the one I'm thinking of. Which one's the one with the, um... It's a prequel to Phantom Hourglass. Which one's that one? We're only in areas, certain areas of the game? Yeah. Twilight Princess turned into a wolf. Oh, okay, that was that one. Right, right, right. And you had, like, the little character. She had, like, uh... Crown thing or something. Spirit Tracks and Phantom Hourglass? Maybe it was Spirit Tracks. It was the GameCube one from that series, because I'm pretty sure that one led into Phantom Hourglass for uh, DS. I wasn't a big Zelda person. I just I played them. I played those ones in particular because I was doing um, a thing, Minna or something. I forget her name, but uh, you weird little robot-looking chick that rides the wolf. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I need you to back the fuck off and stop beating my ass, Mr. Copper. I want to press charges! Oh, and that's not the game. There was another one in that series of things, because uh, Phantom Hourglass was a sequel. It was the one with the boat. It was like a talking boat, I think. Hold on. Let me see. Uh, I mean, I might be completely fucking wrong, but... I mean, I'm not wrong about the boat. I might be wrong about it being a sequel. Um, Zelda Phantom Hourglass...
Wikipedia. It was a direct sequel to Wind Waker. Wind Waker was the one I was playing. So Wind Waker was on GameCube, and then was uh, Phantom Hourglass, and then was uh, uh, the one you mentioned, Spirit One, I think. Wife is sleeping, kids are up. I'm gonna lurk this out, bro. Nice to see you, Snoochie. Hope you're well. Wind Waker, it's not gonna... No, actually it is. It's a direct sequel. Here, I'll send you the uh, Wikipedia link. So, this is the... This is the Wikipedia for Phantom Hourglass, and if you read... Yeah. I knew it was a direct sequel. I just like like I was 99% sure it was a direct sequel. But yeah, in the first little bit of the Wikipedia page, if you go to it, it says it's an action adventure game developed and published by Nintendo for the Nintendo DS handheld console. It's the 14th installment of the Legend of Zelda series and a direct sequel to the 20 uh, 2002 uh, GameCube title The Wind Waker. And it earned a sequel, Spirit Tracks. So Spirit Tracks was the third one in that set of games. Like the storylines and... Yeah, it's direct sequel. So those three games are like direct sequels to each other. Kind of like Breath of the Wild and the Tears of the Kingdom. I take it you're going to be like, I need to go back and play that now. I'm dumb. Every Zelda game connects. They're just hundreds of years apart. I mean, the, Zelda's a weird, convoluted thing. But yeah, no, these are direct sequels, and they are, like, it is the same, same lineage of gaming. So it's the same Zelda, the same Link, um, doing the same shit. Or, or Tetra, because she's not, she's not Zelda. Like, she's Princess Zelda, but she's known as Tetra, and she's, she's a pirate in that one. Did I beat up all the bad guys? Okay, look, I fucking beat you guys up a second ago. Why the fuck are you spawning more and why are you back, you fucking uh, umbrella bitch? How's the corner? What did we learn? Water style! Ow! Boom crab! She just transforms into Zelda? Yeah. Like, I think, because I played Phantom Hourglass first, because I didn't have a GameCube at first, and, and fucking Nintendo games are expensive as shit, so it's like, eh. But, uh, I remember playing that one, and they already, like, knew she was Zelda and whatever. It's like, it wasn't, like, a big surprise for me at that point, because <laughs> this was the sequel game. Hey, take some. And the boat was actually the King of Hyrule. Oh, okay. I never finished that one. Yeah. I guess there's Yeah, if I can, I, I don't even know which fucking Zelda games I finished. The Red, the King of Red Lions. Yeah, yeah. I remember something like that. I was never a big Zelda person. Like I played some Mario, played some Zelda. Not as much Zelda. Not as much Metroid. I usually stayed away from fucking Nintendo games just because they were expensive as fuck for no reason. Like, my GameCube library consists of me buying, um... I have a Mario Party. I have Sunshine, because I bought Sunshine super cheap. 
I have Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, whichever Yu-Gi-Oh it was for that one, with the, um, where you went to the other world and you had like, I don't know, you had to like play as Yu-Gi, play as, I need to actually look into the Zelda timeline now, I know Skyward Sword is the earliest time frame, something like that, I don't know. Don't ask me to get into time frames of fucking Zelda. Anything I would know would be fucking Google and, I mean, you know, my memory, which is bad as far as Zelda goes. Oh, and the other game I got was, uh, uh, Fantasy Star. I splurged on Fantasy Star. Because my buddy had Fantasy Star 1 and 2 online, and I bought that as for myself. So whenever I went over to his house, we fucking played. Because my character's up to, like, 140 on there. Yeah, but... Uh. Oh, yeah, I played Fire Emblem, yeah. That was the ba That was the reason I bought my GameCube. Like, <laughs> it was funny. So Fire Emblem was coming out with Path of Radiance. And I was like... Where I was working, they had a GameCube, and I told the bosses, I said, um, I, I'll, I'll give you guys this much for it or whatever, and they hadn't sold it yet, and they were like, all right, and I said, I'll pay you the rest the next time I get paid, right, because they paid me in, like, bi-weekly or whatever shit, so, like, I'll just give you the rest the next time I get paid, so, like, okay, fine, so I did that, and, uh, they, um, I got it, and it was funny, because my buddy, wanted to get the GameCube as well, and when he came in the next day, because he worked with me as well, he comes in, looks at it, and goes, where's the GameCube? And I went, I bought it. And he went, what do you mean you bought it? I said, because I wanted it. And he's like, but I wanted that one. And I'm like, what do you mean you wanted that one? He's like, I don't have a purple one. I'm like, you won't let me buy a used GameCube for cheap because you want a purple one and the black one that you own, or whatever shit. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. So yeah, so I got that. And then, like I said, I, I ended up for that for Christmas that year, my parents got me uh, fall, um, Path of Radiance. So I did I did play it quite a bit. And I did play the old ones back on uh, Game Boy Advance. So I, I did play those as well. Oh, so do I. My GameCube's in my storage unit right now. That thing? Okay. We had a uh, we did a road trip to go see my grandparents one year, and we were driving. And the the uh, car could uh, run like you could plug up a DVD player and it had a little screen and everything like that. So we were running uh, in the car. We had in the back seat we had GameCube, we had PlayStation, we were watching movies, we were playing games and stuff. So while the kids were sleeping, I was in the back playing. Uh, playing GameCube. Anyways, we left a gas station and the door wasn't closed properly and opened. And we did a hard turn and my GameCube went flying out of the fucking moving car. And uh, I went and picked it up and I was like, holy shit, there's a little tiny chip off the corner of it, but the thing still works fucking perfectly fine. And I laughed my ass off because I'm like, this thing's fucking durable as shit. <laughs> um... Yeah, I've got the, uh, I've, I've actually got both the Pokemon games. I've got Gale of Darkness and, um, what was the other one? Was it just Colosseum something? Yeah, no, it was, it, we, it was known as Nintendo's Purple Lunchbox. Yeah, so I had Colosseum and I had, uh, XD Gale of Darkness. I had both those. Um. Oh, oh, I got, an, I got an awesome story for you too. Okay. So, um. I, because games were fucking expensive and, like, GameCube games are fucking expensive, okay, so Blockbuster, right? I went and was, like, looking in the Blockbuster in some other town, because, like, we just happened to be in this other town, and, and my mom was, like, getting something from the liquor store. It'll always be my favorite Pokemon game and GameCube game. Yeah, it was it was a good game. I just wish you could catch them all. Like, it, you couldn't catch them all because the fucking... Um, like, it was mostly the shadow ones, and there were some free areas, but, like, you couldn't get all of them. Um, but anyways, yeah, so, I go into this fucking, uh, um, Blockbuster, 
and you know, my mom's in the liquor store and I'm in the blockbuster and I'm walking around and I'm looking in the bargain bin at GameCube games. Cause like I'm trying to find GameCube games that are cheap, whatever. And these two kids are fucking standing there at the counter and they're like, we want to buy these games. Right. And they had a little hand, they had a little pile of games, whatever. And I remember one of them was a game called gun. Um, and I asked, uh, like, like I'm watching and the guy's like, he looks at them and looks at the game and it's clearly rated fucking 18 plus, And he goes, yeah, I can't sell this to you because you're minor, right? And they get all sad. And they're like, well, what can we get? And he says, well, you kind of look like you're this age, so anything that's this rating or lower. So they kind of slowly slink over to the fucking bargain bin again, trying to find games again. And I walk over to the guy and I said, hey, can I take a look at those? Right? So I take a look at them because he's already put the fucking games in the cases and everything like that. So I take a look at them and I go, I'll buy them. Right? The kids kind of brighten up a little bit, like maybe thinking, you know, uh, oh, he's going to buy them. He's going to give them to us outside, whatever. Guy looks at them and then looks at me and goes, are you going to buy it for them? I said, fuck no. <laughs> I can buy the games left and went back and sat in the car. It was fucking hilarious. Um, and yeah, I took him home. Uh, I liked the game. It, it wasn't bad. Uh, I bought that and I bought a game called Geist. And Gun was like Wild West... Um, there was like a poker game in it where you cheated. So like you had a thing up your hand, up your wrist. So you could like slip a card into it while you're playing and then pull the card out when you needed to, to make, so you're sitting there, right? Five card hand. And all of a sudden you have seven and you're just like, I'm going to put these in my wrist <laughs> and shit. You're playing poker cheating the whole time. Um, I don't think I beat the final boss of that. Cause like the final boss was like something really fucking stupid. You had to blow up a bunch of bombs or whatever. Cause he was some kind of big fucking tank. The other game I picked up was uh, was Geist, and Geist was you are like secret agents. You're in, invading this facility, and they kidnap, like they knock you out, put you in the machine, and then try to like they turn you into this ghost that they try to control. And you go through this training thing where you like possess people and everything like that. But then you get get control of your own mind again. You're like, what the fuck? I'm a ghost that can possess people. So the whole game is you possessing people and slaughtering the people that have, like, done this to you. And it was, like, really, really dark game. But, like, it was a really interesting concept or whatever. Uh, the only thing I hated about it was they made you do that training area, like, four different times. Because you do it in the beginning to learn, like, how to possess people and everything because they're, like, trying to control you. And then every time they capture you as part of the story... They make you try to do the training again because it's like they're trying to recondition, reprogram you, but the training is just a little bit longer. <laughs> it's still the same fucking training, though. And you just it's just like, OK, so we're teaching you how to assassinate somebody. And it's like, but I'm a soldier. I know how to assassinate somebody. Let me go kill people. <laughs> but yeah, those those are some pretty interesting games. Um I, I had a blast with my GameCube, and like I said, I still own it. Like, I still own all my consoles, any of mine. Uh, the only ones I don't own, my PSP broke, so I don't own my PSP. My DS, I still have it, but it's fucked up. Um, and my, um, sorry, my PSP broke, my Vita, Vita's battery shit. And the DS, like I said, I was having that problem. And my Game Boy Advance fucking got stolen. Okay, this guy's gonna hide. Oh, this is the second time with the same fucking kid. Damn it. Your voices, but it's not the right voices. I remember when I first got my GameCube, though, because uh, I didn't have a memory card, because they didn't sell memory card with it. So I left the thing on all the time and my dad got mad because he was like, why is this on? Because it was on in my room. He's like, why'd you leave that on all day? And I'm like, oh my God, I didn't have a memory card yet. I bought one at the store and I had the chance. So like, I was like halfway through fucking Yu-Gi-Oh and I had to like start over because he fucking turned off my fucking closet. Well, I'm gonna sing down under the water Do it a while I'm gonna sing, yeah, I'm gonna sing Alright Give me bad luck Give me bad luck
It's fuck. I got I got good luck. Better not to depend on luck. Kids nearby. Yeah. Of course it's locked. Are you fucking kidding me? Can't be far. I have to find a key? Can I wish for a key? God damn it. I'm gonna sing down under the water. Do it well. I'm gonna sing it. I'm gonna sing. Hey, I think you're strong enough for a new skill. I think I need to find a key, and you need to stop telling me I'm ready for a new skill. Oh, he's over here. Okay. Thanks, dead person. Are you fucking kidding me? It's on the roof. Really? Can't the simulator uh, go full screen? Um, it can. You just have to, like, resize it. Uh, on the thing, I think. I usually don't run emulators full screen, though. Like, I'll usually run them in, like, a large window because uh, sometimes the emulator will run and it'll be, like... Um... Like, it'll it'll start dropping frames because you fucking run it... Uh... At full screen or whatever. Wait, can I make you disappear now? Oh, yes, I want I want to skip your conversation. All right, yeah, you go up to heaven now because I found a key. And that was your that was all your the shit. Darn crows took the key after. Yes, the darn crows took the key. Go to heaven. I don't know what is up with these fucking ghosts and why they go to heaven like ass first. The fuck? You think this has got something to do with the vanishings, KK? Could be. Maybe you just got bored and left. Either way, we're done playing this game. Really? Poor kid. Hide and seek three, approximately a thousand spirits. Uh, here, I can drop something at that place. Oh yeah, I got a safety helmet. I mean, that sounds like something I'd wear at the library. Because books are hard. Ethereal weaving. Uh, I've only got three of these. We'll grab this one. Water more shots. Hell yeah. And this one. So this is 30. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Okay, so those are all one of KK's uh, books. Hey, you're getting a little better. I'm really gonna have to find the rest of his fucking books. He must have a lot of them. I mean, fuck, there's one in this area, too. There's a Jesus statue in this one. Let me see if I can find the Jesus statue. There's not a place to donate, is there? Damn it. I like that. I have to 
go this way. So we'll go this way and we'll keep kind of scanning. Just hearing the starting music for Silent Hill is about to give me nightmares again. Oh lord. Have they not added a... Uh... You don't have you don't have plus premium, do you? Hang on a second, guys. Curious. I'm just curious if it was added to plus premium at all. Uh, classic catalog, PS One games. View. Sort by name. Apescape, Ark the Lad, Twilight of Spirits. By the way, stay tuned for that. Dark Cloud 1 and 2. Uh, Doom 1, 2, 3, 64. Intelligent Cube, King of Paradise, Abe's Exodus, Abe's Odyssey. Okage Shadow King, uh, Siren. Hmm. That's not what I wanted. Go back to the game. There we go. Uh, Silent Hill is on PlayStation, but the other ones are, well, PS4. But the PS1, obviously. Yeah, no, I was looking to see if the PS1 version was on uh, premium as a game you can get. Because I know they've got the Resident Evil games, because they uh, the the Resident Evil games they've had on there for a while, but the Resident Evil games they've also had for um, uh, what was it? The um, you got the Resident Evil games if you bought six collector's edition, you got the codes for the the PS One versions. Oh, now they just got the Silent Hill collection, but one isn't on it? Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. There's a shrine. Yeah, you're right there. <clears throat> Hello, bald man. I pray to you. You have made my wind stronger. I know fart and it becomes a torrent! That's how that works, right? Something like that? Okay. Um, this is... That... KK's investigation notes. Let me fast travel here and actually get these. I wasn't going to, but now I think I'm going to. Okay. Uh, no, that's not the right one. We'll just switch the bra bracelet for the other one. Uh, it's the sleuth beads? Sleuth beads. Oop.
I'm a bush. Fuck, you saw me in the bush. I can't like grapple in the fucking temple. Okay. Uh, that one's fine. That one's fine. Okay, so there is another notes over here. So I still need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, Magatama. Good. Okay, but I got. Three Magatama still in this area. Wait, are those the ones I can buy? Those are the ones I can buy, probably. How much were they? One was 30, one was 130, this one was 70. I need more money. Like even if I did buy these like ones, like hang on, let me let me see if this is where's that shop? The shop was on the other side. He has two left. I did buy one. Where's the other one in here? Does that count as one? Hold on. I can't look at this off. No, I can't look at the whole map. What the fuck's a door? I think this door works. Does that count as a one? It does. So there's one still here in some kind of activity, but there's one I gotta buy too. Fuck. Okay. 
I don't think I have to find graffiti, otherwise I'd be a pain in the ass. Me, God, I, I forget the music always sounds like something chasing you. Also, me gets hit in the ball. <laughs> about right, yeah. Oh my God, this is a scary game. Also, me. Oh my God, this is a really scary game. I forgot how scary this was. Get to that one, really? Maybe from here. Can I reach it now? Can I reach it from these stairs? Bro, I forgot the main horror of Silent Hill is the fact that your only source of light in the entire series is a fucking lighter. Hey, hey, be glad you don't run out of fucking lighter fluid. Okay? Cause that could have been a mechanic too. <laughs> Make it worse. Just picture the new Silent Hill game coming out. Why is lighter fluid finite? <laughs> you from above fog is crazy. I've never seen anything like it. It's almost as like it's climbing up the walls. I'll send you a picture. You didn't make it very far. It's a horrible picture. Silent Hill new graphics. Oh god, I'm so hyped, but so fucking terrified. Yeah. Like I said, I never played scary games really growing up. Um. I think the scariest game I played wasn't even scary. Like, it, it was marked as a horror game, but it was Shadow Hearts. There's a couple Silent Hill projects they're working on. Yeah. Rumor about a new movie as well. Well, I mean, it's <clears throat> just a question of who owns what, right? Like if they've got if they've got stuff set up to do something, like why not do something with it? Yeah. I think their plan should be to do a series. Because you know what? Some of the series that are like games going in a series are actually doing really well because you can capture a lot more stuff going on in the series. It just you can't have like an all-star cast or anything like that. You have to have like a not as all-star cast. But you have to have an all-star TV cast, I should say. 
Because sometimes some people are just like, we, we want to have this person. And it's like, you really can't have that person. No. No. I just told you you can't have that person, and that person is me. No, you can't have me. Is when Cheryl goes back? Hmm. Love how he says that. <laughs> you could get a new skill now. Or you could save up. <laughs> like, no shit. I would have never guessed. I was like, right below me? It's right there. Okay, can we get something good? I'd rather do weaving first. <clears throat> I bet Ray's gonna appreciate the fog. Not gonna appreciate the fog if I try to stream this. Mmm. Like Kinda of shame it isn't on PlayStation as a fucking game, because you could download it to that and fucking play it through that. Makes me wonder if they're gonna try to do anything like that. That's not how I switch bracelets. Uh, it's inventory. There we go. Oh, that, those are my prayer beads. I feel like I can get this money one to tier three, but I don't know how. I bet one of the cats has it. Fucking cats have everything. Little bastards. Okay, let me go... Um, we'll go over here and grab the... Run the thing again, see if we can get a fucking... Wait, hold on. Okay, yeah, I don't have a thing on right now, so we can go grab this. Try to get a whammy. Because we want it to have something bad. All right. Watch the only way for me to get this is I have to break a mirror in real life and give myself like lots of bad luck. God damn it. Not too bad. All things considered. Fast travel to the musical one, give them the thingy. That's a wooden fish musical. Oh, he has investigation notes too. Fuck. I need to find several dogs. Oh, or no, wait, no, that's only ten hundred uh, or ten thousand. I need a hundred thousand. Fuck. You ever wander into a dog food? You gave me anything nice? No. No, you don't need anything. Every time you ask, I get you nothing. Because why would I get you anything? You're a fucking ghost. Since we didn't roll anything good on that, um, <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna do the kappa. How many did I need? I needed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm probably not gonna get them from those. Not even, not yet anyway. Okay, 
here. Let me let me go to this one first. Drop the souls eye off that I have, and then try to see what souls we can get while we're doing the side quest. <clears throat> I see graffiti. What's a kappa? Oh. You're not playing my music anymore, are you? You bastards. Oh, we have a new song too. Throw that in there. Tell when the boss just doesn't listen. Almost sounds like they disturb. I want the Lord to show up and kill me. Wait. We're not alone. Guys, guys, no, I'm I wanna no, you're not the Lord, you're just you're just some assholes with some umbrellas. Deadly kisses at me, harlot. Oil <laughs> stone. They must have tried to demolish it. Made him angry. Either way, I guess we'd better summon him for wait. Gotta smash the stone. Serious? 
Oh shit. Pulling us into the dark area thing. What the? We go back in time? Guess this used to be an old samurai manor. Back when they had memorial stones. Something terrible must have happened here. The Lord here was once a very kind man. However, he was killed when one of his servants betrayed him. And it happened. During his daughter's wedding feast, Noah. <sighs> he must have died full of regret. Yeah, this whole area is fucking frozen. This is fucking stupid. Great, not getting pinned in the corner by the fucking boss. There. So, his grudge turned him into a specter because someone betrayed him? More than likely someone he trusted. A stab in the back never really heals, that's for sure. Too bad you guys couldn't have gotten here a little earlier, huh? Yeah, it's all my fault. I'm certain our Lord is finally at peace. Thank yeah. you so very much. Yeah, I'll let you move on too. Let's 
are at rest now. Thank you. Some real work to save them all. Can't you jump over to this? Open Discord, and you know how when someone does at everyone or tags you in something, the message glows yellow? Yeah. What about it? Somehow, I don't fucking know how, because this makes no sense to me, but it's so yellow, it started doing red Silent Hill effect on this. <laughs> the fuck that even happened? You see, Crux, the PlayStation emulator was like, hey, you know it'd be hilarious? This guy's playing Silent Hill. We should fuck with him really, really hard. And Discord was like, really? We could do that? I was like, yeah, bro, we could do that. And then they collaborated. And now they're trying to fuck with you. I'll tab back to the emulator and now it's gone. Maybe you did too many drugs today. I don't like it. <laughs> this is a sign, Crux. It was the bad gunja. Well, time to fix the tree from its bloodiness. Oh, that's right, I kill people. Ow, ow! Fuck off!
Are you tired? Fuck's sakes. Now that's how cherry blossoms should look. Damn it. Just add beer and a picnic blanket. Where the fuck's the other one? Oh, there, there it is.
Oh, by the way, Crooks, you wanted a clip of me saying plague? Top of that. Can't get on top of that from this angle. Fuck. Don't fall. jump over that. Crooks has gotten immersed in Silent Hill. He's not listening to me say plague. Now to help more. Wait a second, one of those was different. What are those ones? No, those are also there. You asked me, last time you were on Twitch, you asked me, you said you wanted to get a... Yes, I said you wanted me to say Plague. And you wanted a clip of me saying it. And I've said it like four times for you <laughs> since I've said your name. Oh, is fighting a demon? I mean, demon fighting's good too. We want to survive those. I was just, it rem I remembered it because I killed somebody, and then I was like, looking around, and everything was all nasty looking, and I was like, oh yeah, Crooks wanted me to say plague. Because apparently us Canadians can't say it right. Remember how to shoot the motherfucker killed me like three times. Don't you love that? I started playing this after playing Diablo so much, and I was like, "How do I? How do I like dodge? <laughs> how do I? How do I shoot things from my fingers?" <laughs> Let's we'll just say the beginning of the stream was not pleasant. Started with Noob 3. Oh, jeez. Where is this? Same way Noob does. Who the fuck is Noob? 
Is this somebody I don't know? Like, hold on, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on. Let me, let me pause this, okay? I'm a, I'm a bring it up in Google. Plague pronunciation, okay? I'm turning this way up, all right? And then I'm going to play it. Plague. Plague. That's, that's it. Just like that. Bigger DBD content creator from Ottawa? Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, see, I don't watch people. <laughs> the list of people I know on social media is slim. But yeah, that's, that's how you say it. Plague. There's no special way... I haven't secretly kicked an elephant, you know. There's there's nothing wrong with the way I'm saying it. Plague. Just there we go. Said. Ah. <laughs> uh. I forget how Snipes always tells me to say it. He's like, you gotta pronounce the G or something. And I'm like, Brian. I mean, you could do, you know what you could do is the next time they tell you, you say it wrong. Like, how's your stereotypical Canadian accent? Like, like the Newfie level kind of accent where people are, like, even we're just kind of like, what the fuck are you saying? How's, how's your, uh, how's your Newfie accent? Because <clears throat> that would be, that would be the direction to go, is if they're going to screw with you and say you're saying it wrong, just start talking like that, and they'll tell you to never talk like that again. Tried to press escape and pause, and I closed the emulator, so now I gotta fight this second demon again? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, how's, how's your Newfie accent? Because, like, I can do stereotypical Canadian pretty well, and one, one time people were making fun of me, so I just did that, and they went, oh my god, never do that again. And I was like, yeah, exactly. Because that's what that sounds like. Do you know Letterkenny? I know of Letterkenny. I wasn't it wasn't really something that interested me. Do you hear Azashiwarashi? It has to be in a house somewhere. Just have to find it. That's a heavy Canadian accent you use as a joke. Um I don't think that one's as deep though. Like, to give you an idea, right? Like, I go, like... Fuck. It's like worse than... It's like worse than Trailer Park Boys. It's like SCTV-level fucking Canadian accent. You ever heard of Out for a Rip? No, I haven't. Not that one. What's Out for a Rip? Most Canadian song you you ever uh, you gotta listen to it. I'll find it. Oh yeah, sure. Whisper to me. Why did I walk when I did that? Now I don't know where the. F oh wait, there's guys over here. I can I can steal these people. <clears throat>
shit, I have to go find a phone. There's one right there. <clears throat> I mean, I'll check it out. I, I'm not too worried about DMCA as much, because, like, as long as, like, my channel doesn't get taken down or anything, like, it'll just auto-mute everything. And, damn it, I hit the wrong button. Um, and, I mean, I, like, all my stuff on YouTube is, like, an archive of, of my streams. So, like, if they don't want me to monetize a video because of DMCA, I'll be like, all right, cool, just don't monetize it then, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not even at a place where my YouTube can be monetized, even if I wanted to. Like, I just... You know, do this shit to have fun. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll listen to it. Hold on. Did you, did you already send it to me? Yeah, you did send it to me. Okay, let me hear this. Give me one second, guys. We're gonna hear a song. Not the direction I thought this was gonna go at all. Somebody had way too much free time on their hands for this. Snowbank part's my favorite. I know people that were like that. <laughs> Gonna go help more community. Have an awesome stream and everyone have a great day. All right, Owen. <clears throat> Come from land of ice. Uh, 
Come from the land of polite where shit's covered nice. Yeah, good lord. Yeah, no, so my, my like, stereotypical Canadian accent would probably be something like this. Uh, hey, what the fuck do you think you're doing, eh? Fucking hoser. You know, and, like, I'd, have be, I'd be having a conversation with someone and, like, fucking do that, and they'd just be like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> and I'd be like, my fucking Canadian accent, eh? That's what I sound like. Oh, fuck, you should have seen the size of that fucking moose, eh? About the size of three of them fucking cars. But yeah, I, I, I did that as a joke, because, like, people were fucking criticizing me, because, you know, the O's, right? So they're like, it's the way you say house. And I'm like, I say house normally. And they're like, no, 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 there's like an accent on it. It's like when, the way you say about, and I'm like, I say about normally. You're like, no, you say it like a boot. And I'm like, if I said it like a boot, I would say a, a boot, you fucking idiot. <laughs> so I, I did that as a joke to them because they were they were fucking screwing with me and they were just like, that's, that's worse. And I'm like, no shit. <laughs> but I know people that fucking talk like that too. You fucking hoser, and they go down to the bar, and then they drink the beer. And then we go to Leaf Game. Boot is the one stereotype I've never understood. Honestly, uh, never heard someone say a boot like stereotype. Yeah, well, exactly. Because the thing is, right? So the stereotype is that we say a boot, like B O O T, but. If anything, the stereotype would be closer to saying a boat. Or roof, yeah. People think, yeah, and I mean, we don't suck, like... We, we don't pronounce it rough. Get on the roof of your bolt! I think that one fucking sounded Scottish. <laughs> Trying to murder things and not focusing properly. Different accents are coming out. Becoming a person of the world. What the fuck's this crystal thing so I can fucking shoot it? You know what? I'm gonna shoot this guy in the face. That works. <laughs> Yeah, if they ever start screwing with the way you're saying plague again, then I would just fucking throw out, like, throw out a really stereotypical Canadian accent and just start mocking it. How would you play this one, KK? I shoot him in the face! Right and run. What? That's one way to do it. Disappointed in you, KK. You're supposed to kill the bad guys. Oh, fuck, ghosts. Nope. Where the fuck's the other one? Usually come in threes. Where's the other one? Oh, it's right there. Oh, fuck it. Ow! Stay out of my way.
I don't know if it was before your time, but did you ever watch uh, SCTV? SCTV, yeah. It was a show. Nah. Before your time, or just didn't interest you? Never heard of it? Oh, hold on. I gotta find one for you. Let me let me see if I can find a clip. This is, uh, this was the show that Eugene Levy was on way back in the day, and, um, fucking, uh, John Candy was on it. Like, that's where a lot of them made their fucking big breaks, was SCTV. Martin Short was on it. Here's, uh, here, you know what, I'll just, I'll send you the, their, they've got an official fucking YouTube channel with, like, tons of their skits. And you can check it out. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> but, like, some of this stuff was back, like, early 80s. But this is, um... This was a show they did with, um, there was a segment with, uh, okay, good day. Welcome to the gray white. was it, uh, it was Rick Moranis and, uh, Dave Thomas. And they did a skit called the great white North. So like, this is, this is one of the, their skits that they did. Get no, that's not it. Hold on. There we go. How's it going, eh? And whoa, did, did you hear about, what, well, you can tell. Okay, you hear about the guy who, like, uh, was over the beer, eh, and, like, went to drink and then did the stupid thing of looking in the bottle and, whoa, there's a mouse in this bottle, eh? Real, real, real mouse. Well, I guess it, it was dead, right? Drowned from yeah. beer. And drunk, too. Drowned, 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 drowned and was drunk. On his face, eh? It died from down. drunk driving in the bottle. But you know what the guy got? Got a whole case of beer. Right. <laughs> so our topic today is how to stuff a mouse into a beer bottle <laughs> without uh, without breaking it, the it, bottle. its bones. Right. So they, they'll look at it and give you a case and not think you host it by, uh, by deliberately stuffing one in it. Eh? It's like shit building in a bottle, okay? Right. And like the thing to remember is let's say you get, okay, let's say you get a six pack, right? Yeah. Six mice, right? Okay, you get a case for each beer bottle with the mouse. So a case of two, four, right? A square for like times six? Six, six times twenty-four. Jeez, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have my calculator. Eh? I don't have my calculator. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's the way they uh they were and stuff like that. So like that's the that's the stereotypical Canadian accent I would always use or something like that. <laughs> Can showing a mouse in a bottle so they can get free beer. <clears throat> they did a movie too, uh, years later called Strange Brew, and it was them, like that. It was those two characters that they were doing, uh, making their own beer or something. They were like gonna make their own beer. Or they were trying to open a brewery or something like that. I can't, I can't fucking remember. Uh, I want that Jesus statue. <clears throat> okay. Oh, there was a hole. I was confused as to where the fuck I went. 
Okay, so there's a, there's a thing over here. Where is this? Where is... Oh, you're, you're down here. What's this? It's a teddy bear! Unsettling plushie, huh? gonna give me anything big. Here, let's teleport to this one. On my way to Midwich now? I just wanna pray and run away! No, no, no! 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 This is not a dream! This is not a wet dream! Go away! Go away! Fuck off! like a ballerina before you kick me in the face. There we go. Pull their cores out. Uh, Jesus statue. I pray to you. I guess we're going this way, but the fucking other thing's going on. Look, footprints. Something's off. We got footprints. But I'm not sensing anything. Where do you think they lead? We're gonna find out.
Are we? What? I didn't even see anything. Okay, we're going inside the tapper's hole now. And here we are, lost in wherever this is. Where the lost ever fuck the am I? Where are we? Looks like the tapper went further ahead. Guess we gotta glide. This elevator works. Maybe we can use that platform to get across. I think I just fell in a hole. I didn't fall in a hole, yay! Where the fuck am I going? I literally have no idea where the fuck I'm going. Hold on. showed me shit. Oh wait, is that it? Is that where I started? God damn it, this is where I started.
I don't like it that it doesn't tell me where the fuck I'm supposed to go. Because, like, his footprints keep fucking off. There's a spot, okay. Haha! -ha. Better be the right fucking way. Okay, so you go this way. Am I? Oh, it's a corrupted tree now. That kid looks like some kind of husk. The tapper must have business with him. Can't get close with that corruption. Clear it out. Cap, cap, capper. I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna do this. <clears throat> How the fuck do I leave? Oh. Now let's close that hole for good. Sounds like an idea. You know, when I think about that kid's story, that rift could have just pulled me in by myself. Yeah, good thing I wasn't left all alone. Your concern for me is touching. Ow. Ow. It's gonna be some real work to save them all. Was that, like, up top? First time I've seen one with a cone on its head. Although I'd expect that to happen if you know everybody just randomly disappeared, there'd be a couple dogs that have cones on their heads. I 
That reminds me, uh, where was that mission? Was this one, wasn't it? Yep. crying about it. Why is that? No, it's not it. <clears throat> okay, I'm curious. What exactly was that? That's not what I wanted. Fish. Aquatic canine and it's a fish. I mean, I've never tried to stab anybody with a fish.
beat on one. Give me a fucking thing.
hungry. me up. Good enough, I guess.
Now to help more. Damn it, I didn't want to do this. We gotta save the Kodama. the ones that were after the Kadama.
many more do I need? Oh shit! We just got a hundred percent. Hell's yeah! I'm not even done yet because the side quests aren't even finished, and they have spears with them too. And that area hasn't been touched. Shit. Speed's on 60%. In there. Can't avoid the hit. Yeah. 
that room. Hey, Jersey. Take a look. Custom ride. Damn. But what's custom I'm fine. about it? Got we're just doing uh, this little bit, and then we're going to save up and read out. In theory, it ought to get us through the fog. How about in reality? Quiet. Give me a sec. How are you doing today? It won't even start. Of course not. There's no gas in it. Plus, the custom turbocharger's busted. We'll need a replacement turbine wheel to get it running again. The real problem's the fragrant underworld oil. The... what? This is no ordinary bike. It's got the power to cut right through that fog. But to do that, it needs special oil from the other side. And we're fresh out. Okay, so how do we get some? Dunno. You... <sighs> if you don't know, then... What are we supposed to do? Better get that. That someone's gonna force their help on us. I didn't have all day to wait for you to pick up, so I rigged this phone to ring periodically and play back a recording. <laughs> no need to talk, just listen to my instructions. That voice, it's Ed. You're in the garage, which means you're trying to use Rinko's motorbike. And now, you don't know where to find the necessary fragrant underworld oil. I've told you before, KK, but I'm sure you'll have forgotten, am I right? Smart guy. Kiss my ass. You can find the oil in places where the underworld's interference is especially potent. Anywhere you can see it spilling over into our world. This should be readily apparent. Now get searching. Signing off. Any idea where to look? Not yet. Let's find a good vantage point to scope out the area. Around here, best bet might be the Mitake real estate building. Okay, so can we save here? Okay, so we're gonna save there. <clears throat> so, cool enough, we ended up getting our 100% for spirits. So that's a big chunk of trophy out of the way. Um, I still have to pull the Daikyo from the Omikuji, um, but because we have the 100% for the spirits, so Ed, that means we can with to that. Um, that means that we can actually do the remaining story for the game. Um, we can do uh, chapters one through six, complete the main story, and complete the main story after transferring at least 100% of the spirits in the city. Uh, after that is cleansing all the Tory gates, which, funny enough, I thought I had done, but I guess not. There must be another Tory gate somewhere. Um, completing the side missions, uh, getting all the relics, which is the things that the cats want. Uh, unlocking all the spirit skills, meaning I need KK's journals. Uh, find all the landmarks. Again, I thought that was something I probably would have had by now, but I guess not. Acquire all the voice logs, acquire 40 or more different Megatama, uh, pray to all the Jinzo statues, we're working on that, find all the missing Tanuki, we're almost on that, acquire all the music tracks, um, that'll be in tandem with some of the other things, uh, acquire all the items for the outfit menu, excluding bonus and update content, uh, acquire all the prayer bead sets, which again, cats, 
um, I think is the missing stuff. Defeat at least one type of free visitor. I'm pretty sure that'll happen through the rest of the campaign. Um, and then I got to figure out that walking on air one grappling glide to remain in the air for at least 10 seconds. So I'm not sure how to do that one. And then there's the spider thread DLC. We'll check that out and see what that looks like. Um, but yeah, 42 is 67. We're at 52%. Um, we've only got one silver and 41 bronze trophies, but you know, it is what it is. Um, anyways, uh, I want to thank everybody for hanging out, um, and whatnot. Uh, let me see who the fuck is actually on, because I don't know. Everybody's kind of raided out over the last bit. Um, bum, 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 bum. <clears throat> uh, you know what chronic's on we'll give chronic some love uh chronic is playing star wars jedi survivor uh so we will raid over there um i will be back later at some point it might help if i put the raid in command in properly um, I'll be back at some point later today. Uh, I'm going to charge my stuff, take a nap, get some food in me and whatnot. Um, but I did promise Wesker I would be on at some point. So I'm assuming he wants help with stuff for Diablo. Um, so we'll give him plenty of time to get up and whatnot. So I probably won't be for a couple hours, but it'll probably be nighttime again. Uh, if you guys want to stop by for that, then great. We'll be continuing hardcore again. It's the first character I've done. Um, we are at level 63. Uh, so we are pushing on with that character, and we haven't died yet, so that's all fun. Uh, so yeah, anyways, um, let me Things make like sure that. I saved, because I forgot if I saved or not. Brain, brain don't work so well when, when lack of sleep. Uh, there we go. Alright, I hope you guys have fun, take care, stay safe, and I will see you guys soon. Um, and uh, Crooks, don't forget to check out that uh, video, alright? Peace out, guys.